two greatest athletes in this year's Tour de France and in the world of cycling are battling out now a point of honour a point of pride for the greatest finish in the Tour de France Paul Phil it's 48 seconds now with 3 kilometres to go for Laurent Fignon the gap is 48 seconds Phil this is the most incredible thing I think I've ever seen in my life this is Pedro Delgado Greg Lamont is catching him not for one minute but for two minutes, Greg Lamont, uh, Delgado will now finish over four and a half minutes behind in this year's Tour de France. Not only that, Phil, but he's going to also win the stage, I think, because look at that time. He's taken 30 seconds off Thierry Marie, 26.57. He goes into top place. We've got two minutes and 50 seconds now to wait for Laurent Fignon to arrive. Well, Fignon's time has got to be better than 27.47. The yellow jersey has got dizzy. It's never known on whose shoulders it was going to be worn the day after. All it knew was it would either be that of Laurent Fignon or that of Greg Lamont. So the Tour de France comes down to the climax. The climax is always threatened it would be. These two men have been Siamese twins throughout the race. Now the cord is broken and it looks like Greg Lamont might, but look at the finish by Fignon. They're all turned off. It's going to be close. 27.47. He must do. The clock is counting down. So are the metres to the line. This is going to be incredible. Fignon is bouncing off the barriers here. He's lost the Tour de France. The crowd has realised it. Laurent Fignon has lost the Tour de France. A right on the line as he comes over. 55 seconds is countdown. He has lost the Tour de France by 8 seconds. Can you believe that? Donald Fignon has lost the Tour and Greg Lamont has won it. This is the end of the Tour de France and Fignon is down on the floor in amongst that crowd. We make his defeat eight seconds. Can you believe it? After over 2,000 miles, we've come down to the last 200 metres of the most incredible sporting event in the world. This will be remembered forever as the greatest day in the history of the Tour de France. It can never be repeated. way